Peggy 18. So the, the, the handyman or the handymen, there's, there's a bunch of them in the world, are a, um, they're sort of a tragic figure. And I don't want to go into a ton of detail about sort of how these guys got put in these metal bodies, but there's, um, there's a certain sadness to um, who they are and how they got there. But I'd rather the gamers find that out in the course of the game. The term handyman comes from his giant porcelain hands that we created. And if you look at toys of, the, of that era, they do a lot of work on trying to make the porcelain dolls feel realistic with the way that they paint the hands and the faces, but they're not quite there. It's almost like the original in incarnation of Uncanny Valley. And we have back and forth and a lot of different designs. One with, you see, like exposed organs, but it was just too on-the-nose video game with clothes, without clothes, with this head, with that head. Um, until we, the one that we finally settled on, um, which is, you know, the exposed heart and the torn clothes and, you know, the bald sort of cut up face. And they have a, a range of abilities um, from, the, they, they can leap these great distances in the game and you know, you'll sometimes see them coming. You know, coming in from the sky and landing from a great height, and then they'll be bouncing around in this space. They're quite agile for their size and quite quite powerful. Um, I think their coolest ability, though, is they can pick up AIs, like, like friends or foes, and they can toss them at people. And so I think that everybody around them finds them quite terrifying, including sometimes your enemies, because they just become tools of the handyman to get it to get a Booker. 